But you know, like we were talking about earlier, a whole host of banks and NBFCs have all released their business updates for the third quarter. It could be a lot about these stocks in today's trading session. So Abhishek is here to run us through the updates. Abhishek. Uh, well, Pavita, as you mentioned, you know, the whole lot of uh, BFSI units have given their business update and the loan growth momentum remains really strong. So starting with m and Financial, uh, you know, the disbursals for December month alone was about 4,650 crores, up about 3.3% month on month. Calculation shows that for Q3 FI23, the disbursals are nearly around 14,500 crore, up more than 80% YOI and about 23% uh, sequentially. The business asset or almost the loan growth uh, was pretty strong at about 4.3% uh, quarter on quarter. Remember that in the previous quarter, they had an AUM growth of about nearly 9% plus. So gross NPA ratio has declined to 6.2 versus 6.7% uh, on a sequential basis and versus 7% in the previous month. Collection efficiency for December has also improved. So overall good uh, business update coming in from uh, Mahindra Mahindra Financial. CSB Bank, they are taking sheen away from NBFCs with respect to gold loan portfolio. So deposits are up 19% YOY and about 8% sequentially. The CASA ratio has dipped, but loan growth is pretty strong at, uh, you know, 25.7% YOY and about 5.5% sequentially. In this, the gold portfolio has grown by 51% YOY and about 9.3% sequentially. So gold loan uh, share in the portfolio has, has increased to 47% when compared to around 45.5% in the previous quarter. X of gold loans, the loan growth is at 9.5% YOY and about 2.5% sequentially. Karnataka Bank has also seen improvement in CD ratio. Uh, deposits are up 8% YOY and 3.5% sequentially. The CASA ratio has dipped a bit, but gold loan, uh, I mean, uh, overall loan growth has remained strong at 12.5% YOY and about 4.5% sequentially. So we are seeing improvement in CD ratio, which suggests that the net interest margin could remain healthy. South Indian Bank, the deposit growth is weak, but CD ratio has uh, augured well for PNL performance can remain strong in Q3. So deposits are up 2.7% YOY and about 2.5% sequentially. The CASA ratio has dipped a bit on a sequential basis, but loan growth is pretty strong over there at 18.5% YOY and about 3.2% sequentially. You are seeing an improvement in the CD ratio. So in a rising interest rate scenario, when uh, CD ratio improves, the net interest margin can also improve. Back to you.